Hey guys, this is Cam Photo Picks, and today this tutorial will show you how to do a tilt shift effect or what's also called a toy town effect on your picture. Now it's always best to have a picture where you've got a higher than normal viewpoint. So here this was taken on from a roof and as you can see I'm looking down you can see the tops of the roofs, tops of vehicles. This is the kind of viewpoint that you're wanting uh, to get the tilt shift effect or the toy town effect to, to work at its best. So what we'll do is on the background layer we shall right click and duplicate layer. And now we have the original background layer and the duplicate layer. So on the duplicate layer what we'll do is we'll go down and select new layer mask or add a layer mask. And as you can see now it's added a layer mask and you can select between the two. So what we'll do is we'll select the duplicate layer mask and we shall go up and select filter, blur and then select Gaussian blur. And we'll keep this, we'll select this for around about 8. So if it's not already at 8, what you can even just do is just highlight it, select 8, and that will put it. And what it will do is if you click preview, that is a normal sharpness and with the, the blur added to it, as you can see, it blurs out the picture. So what we'll do is we'll locate that. And now what to do is select the layer mask, which is the, the white window. And over here, just make sure that uh, you select, make sure that your black colour is uh, the foreground colour. And what we need to do now is go to the gradient tool. So in Photoshop, the gradient tool should be hiding in the drop down box of the paint bucket and select gradient tool and now at the top up here what you do is click on the gradient tool and what we're wanting here is as you can see when you click on it it tells you exactly what the name of them are and what we're looking for is a foreground to background which is this one here so we'll select that and also we want to have selected reflected gradient so just click on that and now when you drag your mouse down and let go what you'll notice is one a black band appears on the layer mask but also a certain part of the picture is now in focus and the rest is out of focus so what we'll do is we'll just uh, remove that until we get the correct part of the picture that we want in focus and out of focus and uh, by undoing that all I'm doing is pressing Control, Alt and Z to undo that change. Now what we've got here I quite like that so what I can also do is if you select your eraser tool now I've got it still selected on black now as you can see if I put it over these windows then it will actually add the the Gaussian blur effect to it. If I change that to white, it makes it sharp again. So what I want to do is just make the tops of this roof sharp and the tops of, or sorry, the, the bottoms of these buildings sharp as well. Just kind of going all the way along. And just get that so that it's kind of sharp all the way. Now what I want to do is obviously there's a bit here in the background that is in focus. I don't want that. So I'll just click that and make sure I've got black selected again. And I'll just blur out the background there as you can see. And we'll get that all blurred out and up the top here as well, we'll just blur that out and here
and now you can see the difference between the two. That's your sharp model and unsharp, and then just right click merge visible, and there we have it. You now have your picture of your tilt shift or toy town picture. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.